When my father was in his mid-50s, he started to have problems. He was finding it difficult to remember things. He was making mistakes with his work and he was needing to be prompted with most things. And so that we knew there was something wrong. He went to the doctors, he was sent to the hospital for tests and he was diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease, which we'd never heard of. It wasn't really long after that that one of his sisters, who was younger than my father, she was only in her early 50s, and she started developing the same sort of symptoms. And she had a brother, and the next thing we knew was that her brother had also started developing these symptoms. I remembered that my grandfather, when he was younger, had had similar problems. He had been looked after by my grandmother for, for many years, up to the end of his life. And I put two and two together and thought, there's something funny going on here. This is a, the same family developing the same symptoms at a similar age. There must be something that is going on here. I made a family tree. I found out lots of names and I thought this was interesting to someone who could do something about it. That was the main thing. And so that was sent to Martin Rosser and to John Hardy and they started to work on it. I think they have the original letter here. Uh, Martin Rosser picked it up, and John Hardy and Mike Muller, and there was a team of them here, and they actually applied to get a grant to look, explore the family, which they got. And in 1991, they turned up to take blood samples, and Carol coordinated across the family to, to get all the family giving blood. And she was, I mean, she's always been quite a motivator, sort of social person. She got the whole family, cousins, second cousins, all of the family on, on the paternal side where, where the problem was, it wasn't the maternal, it was the paternal side, she got them all involved and they came up and took blood tests from them all. The early hunt for the Alzheimer gene or the gene that was causing familial Alzheimer's disease was um, very much depended actually on being contacted by Carol and she'd been aware that there was Alzheimer's disease in her family and it was affecting individuals at a young age in their, in their 40s and early 50s and she was trying to interest scientists and she became aware that John Hardy and I, um, John Hardy being the, the scientist and myself being the clinician who were working at St Mary's had very recently got a grant from the Medical Research Council to look in families, see if we could identify the gene and I'd come across one or two relatively small families where there might be an affected individual and perhaps an aunt or a cousin or a brother, but they were very small. And this is back in the late 1980s when the technology for looking at genes was much, much less advanced. Um, and so the only way you could try and uh, track down the, the abnormal gene was to get very large numbers of individuals, some of whom were affected and some weren't, and comparing markers on their chromosomes and to try and narrow down which gene um, is the culprit. And it so happened that um, Carol's family was very large, and so there were a number of cousins and distant cousins, and she introduced us to many family members, and we were able to take blood and extract the DNA and look at that. From the blood samples we uh, made DNA uh, and uh, in those days we used a technique called southern blotting for, um, for assessing inheritance of DNA. Nowadays we wouldn't do that, we'd use uh, much more f fast methods and we, would, we started to look at the inheritance of genes on chromosome 21 because uh, people with three copies of chromosome 21 always get Alzheimer's disease. So that was a big clue really, that we should start on chromosome 21. So we started to look at markers on chromosome 21. We made a, a false start, I, I won't say a false, yeah, false start, because we assumed that all uh, familial Alzheimer's disease have mutations in the same gene. And that assumption turned out to be wrong. And that assumption cost us a couple of years of work as we tried to pool data from other families. But uh, when we realised that, that we should analyse families one at a time, we immediately, or fairly immediately, realised that the amyloid gene was inherited with the disease in Carol's family. And um, 
then we sequenced the amyloid gene in, in, in the family and found a mutation. And, and that was the first known cause of Alzheimer's disease. Within a very short time, really, a couple of years, they actually got back to us and said that they had discovered the fault for our family, and it was a fault on chromosome 21.